Hi, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in my new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about the two-story portal frame analysis. But before that, if you not yet practice my last two models, so practice it, okay? And if you have any doubt, please ask me, so I can conclude at certain point, okay? So now we for the two-way uh, like two-story portal frame analysis, you need to do that these all these steps. So click on okay. As you click on OK, this kind of the pop-up will generate. Here, what you, what you have to do is you need to provide the, all the detail, like the what is a number of grid line in X direction. We want only two columns, so provide the two grid line. In Y direction, just click one because it does not accept zero value. Okay, the distance between two columns we need to provide as a five meter, and the distance in a Y direction, the spacing of the grid, just provide one only. After that, how many number of story you need to create? I want to create two number story, okay? And you can just give the high total story height as a three meter. About the best story height, I will discuss later, okay? Just click OK. When you click OK, the three different kind of window will pop up. First one give the detail information. Second will give the 2D model, and third will give the 3D model. So make it as a 3D itself. But let's change this model from one story to that full story building. So go to the elevation, select one, apply, okay. So when you select the best story, it will show you the all the story, whatever you have. Now go to the project, check all the design preferences available or not. After that, go to the structural layout, check the stuff stories, and then go to the properties. So click on a material because we don't have the existing material of the Indian standard. So how we can add? Go to the material. Click, right click, add new. Then select already India we have. We are we need to provide the M30 grade of concrete. Click on OK. Everything is all right. If you want to provide the specific weight density or specific mud density, then you just select weight density like this. So you can edit over here. If you want to provide the mass density, density select this. You can provide over here in kg per meter cube. And click OK. After that, you need to provide the section size. There is a Already few standard size are embedded in the tab, but you need to provide the own size what you have to provide. So select this section, click on right click, add new property, and select the rectangular one because we have our column is in rectangular size. Now after that, provide the name as a column and the size 300. Okay, like uh, yes, 300 230. Okay, make it as a 300 by 300. Okay, and select the material as a M30 and change the value here. 300 by 300 and click OK. After that, select, go here, click on right click, add new property. Select this, okay, and add a beam. Beam. Okay, beam is also 300 by 300 and the material you need to select as M20, M30. Okay, also write everything, 300. Okay, and make it as a 300. And click OK. Now, this very simple process, click on here, which help you to assign the particular structure to the 3D model, but clear, but select this 3D model and click on this particular toggle view so you can get all the value in 3d so now just select the property which property you want to assign i want to provide the beam first so select the beam and go here okay now you can see select this select this so you can see the beam created now after that go here and select the column okay and just just click on that particular column. That's it. It will automatically create your model in 3D. Now after that, click on this select object button. Okay. And just minimize all these things. Okay. Now after that, the loading conditions. I want to provide the load conditions. How can I provide? Select this beam. Okay. But before that, you need to provide, if you want to provide the support, you can provide the support. Okay, so select this by using the pressing the cursor. Okay, and go to the assign joint 
रिस्ट ट्रेंड फिक्स सपोर्ट अप्लाई ओके यू कैन सी द फिक्स सपोर्ट इज असाइन प्रॉपरली नाउ गो टू दी सिलेक्ट दिस बीम ओके असाइन फ्रेम लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओके एंड सिलेक्ट द लोडिंग कंडीशन एज अ फिफ्टी किलोमीटर ओके पर मीटर अप्लाई एंड ओके सो यू कैन सी द फिफ्टी किलोमीटर लोड इज असाइन प्रॉपरली नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड द विंट लोड कंडीशन एट दिस पर्टिकुलर pattern only how i can provide this okay so for this what you have to do is select the beam this column first only for this column i am to provide because at bottom it is very rare that the um, you know that very rare that wind load act on this uh, ground story but it usually act on a other uh, like the next story okay the height it story so select this go to the assign upload the frame load and select on a distributed if you want to provide a point load you can select the point load also let's apply the point load but it is very important guys to understand the behavior of the load condition and what is the relation of the load condition with the column because if your if your stresses is very high you need to increase the area that is one of the one of the best reason for the column dimension at the corner so if your column size is very high okay if your column area is high so whatever the load applying the whatever the stresses created due to load will be very low okay so if your column size is low and your loading condition is very high so your stresses will be more how because stresses is directly proportional to the load and inversely proportional to the area what does it means as area increases stresses decreases as stresses increases area decreases okay understand so now if you want to provide the distributed load okay you can do like this okay so now what i have to do is first close this go to the assign okay if you want to provide the uh, frame load by point then select the point and assign load uh, accordingly so i want to provide the this dist absolute distance okay so you can see i want to provide the load on a zero degree like if i provide at zero it means it act on this joint i want to provide the minus of 12 kN and you need to select the x direction and click on apply and okay so you can see it provided like this why i provided minus 12 minus 12 is means what like my load is acting from this to this direction so i want to rechange so you need to do the load you need to go for the different different things now okay so how you can do this just wait click control z control z so this load will automatically go up okay again select this go to the assign the frame load the point load okay and select instead of minus 12 type 12 only and click apply okay so you can see the load is acted outside now if i want to provide the load at the top how we can apply select the beam okay select the sorry column assign the frame load go to the point okay and at the end at last okay at the last the last is the height uh, let's consider the height is approximately for 3 meter okay right so at 3 meter distance you want to provide the minus of um, 23 km click on apply okay so you can see the load acted at the top now what we have to do just do the analysis click on run analysis and just you know i just click over here okay save yes let's see the analysis results okay what is what will be the maximum bending moment what will be the minimum shear force okay all these values are very important so you can see the model in 3d how it look like okay just click here go to this point and let's check the moment with value apply okay right so you can see the 76 okay is a maximum bending moment at this point and 85.70 is a load acting on this point okay at this point is 64 what does it means it is a maximum bending moment for the beam so at this particular location okay at this particular location you can see okay if you draw the if you just take the b cursor at the beam you can you will get to know the various value the variation okay 
so at this point 76.51 the bending moment is maximum so let's check the shear forces at this point it should be minimum okay so click here the shear forces show we value with this apply okay so you need to click shear 2 by 2 okay just fit okay so you can see at this particular point okay it means at the point of 2 point okay at the point of 2.9 okay at the point of 2.9 you got the 76.51 bending moment okay remember the point where shear force is minimum at that point the bending moment is maximum okay so now what what you consider what you got to know what you have to do is you need to change the grid of concrete okay to reduce the shear forces and bending moment okay or you can change the dimension of the building okay dimensions of the column and everything okay so if you change all these things this bending moment will definitely changes right now if you if you use a material with very high configurations okay so this particular bending moment and shear force will change so before doing any design for a building it is very important to know why this bending moment is so maximum what are the low conditions I can do how I can reduce this bending moment okay to nearly you know very very minor bending moment 76 it means you are getting the very huge uh, you know 76 kilonewton into meter it means you are getting very huge bending moment okay and 129 kilonewton it means you are getting very huge shear forces very huge cracks so how you can how you can solve this you, you need to provide a very huge different kind of the material configurations you need to increase the column and beam sizes so you can you will get to know the different different variations in this all portal frame okay so like this we learn lots of thing today okay so now you can see the three if you want to 3d view you can see the all limits okay everything we will discuss in next video you can see the uh, model all settings okay all everything you can see over here okay and the reports over here if you want to see the project report you just click okay like this the project report will generate automatically okay so it is a embedded system what it will provide you the report like this okay the story data it will consist of the story data let me zoom it okay or you can bring to the word document let's make it in a word document and open it so you can see this particular report is generated from the etab itself okay which consists of the story data grid data coordinations groups material assignment load and analysis of results okay everything is consist over here no need to do the extra hard work okay everything is listed over here what was the analysis report you can get to know okay best reactions everything from dead load how much you got okay everything data is created over here okay so i hope you learn properly try it okay in next video we will talk about the different kind of load combinations okay and the proper load calculations and with respect to that we will analyze the portal frame thank you so much